That thing was heavy. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. Focus? Is it focused? Is it focused? Is it focused? Probably not. Is it focused? I'm gonna check. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this thing. Yeah. Fujifilm pen for uh, writing all your ideas down. Ooh, let's let's dive in here. Hi there, welcome to uh, Bryce Seidel's pen review. Today we have the Fujifilm pen, and it's a uh, it's great for uh, you know making a little shot list like I'm doing right now because I'm bad at making YouTube videos and I have no idea what to say or talk about. So I'm gonna make myself a little list of what to do. It's perfect for that. It's also perfect for uh, making a nice list of uh, photos you plan on taking for the day, or ooh special feature. Set the tone. It's nighttime. You're out taking photos of the stars, doing some astrophotography and what? You can't see your settings, you forgot your phone, you have no light, you're just guessing trying to make it all look good. It's got a little flashlight. Fujifilm pen review by Bryce Siddell. What's going on everyone? So today, I'm gonna be telling you, I don't wanna call it a pro tip, it's more of a, it's more of a secret. This is, this is the secret to how to stay organized with your camera gear, if you have more than just like one camera, and if you have a lot of stuff. This is, if you have a lot of camera gear or a lot of stuff, this is, this is the best way to stay organized. Let me, let me tell you, and that is the Yeti Go box. It's that big heavy box you just watched me carry in. That is the home of all of my camera gear. All of my camera gear at any given moment lives in this box. Now, let's explain my little organizational system I've created with it. So, what makes this box convenient and special is not the box itself. It's the bags. It's the bags I use in unison with this box. I've created a three bag three three bag system I use in unison with all of my camera gear because let's let's you know what it's story time story time real quick right. so story time story time this is real bring it in here so this summer, this past summer, for the first time, I actually started traveling specifically to take photos and videos. And that meant one thing. I went crazy. I started bringing with me all of my gear possible. No matter what I was doing, I found the biggest backpack I could find and I loaded that sucker up no matter what I was doing. I flew across the country, I drove across the country and that big backpack always had all of my stuff, which is great, and it's horrible, because pro, you always have anything you could possibly need, and sometimes that was a lifesaver, and other times, that was the worst part of the entire trip, was the fact that I lugged around with me every single piece of camera gear and tech I owned for an entire weekend or week or two weeks or everything. And a lot of the times I realized I didn't use three quarters of it. But there's been times where I was super thankful that I had this one little thing that I didn't realize I would need. So now, bring it back a little, bring it back to this fall. I, I'm on a trip, I'm on a road trip, going out west to go climb mountains and do crazy stuff where I'm filming and taking photos all day. And on this road trip, I had all my gear, my laptops, everything in my backpack. And then the day comes around where we're supposed to go out hiking and climb the mountain and do stuff. And well, I gotta take my laptop out and take my hard drives out and take my SD card readers out and all the stuff I don't wanna bring with me up a mountain because there's no need to. But then I didn't have any place to put it. It was just loosely sitting in the car and just off. And then you get back and then you're trying to 
you know, dump footage and stuff, and you can't find your little dongle, and you can't find your charger because it's all just scattered all over. I needed to bring all of my camera gear with me, but not half, but still keep organized when I didn't want to use all of my camera gear. So, that would, that's what brought me to the Yeti Go box. So, with this box, here's the concept. I have everything with me at any given moment, no matter what I'm doing. And that's also the same, that's the main point. I bring this box everywhere. If I'm going to see a buddy across town, I throw the box in the car. If I'm getting on a plane to fly somewhere, I check the box and bring it because it's easier to have it and have everything and then have a little backpack with one camera or whatever than to not have any, the thing you need. Because it took one time of going to film a project and I didn't have one camera and a lens that I needed and it was in this box that I left at home. So part of what makes the box convenient is the fact that I bring it everywhere. And that's also the important factor about this box is it's super tough. It's not just some, you know, roller bag that gets all gross when it gets wet. This thing can sit outside if it, on a cold winter night and it would be fine to some extent. It's water, super water, I don't know if it's waterproof, but it's heavily water resistant. It's basically a cooler without the insulation. So now let's, let's, let's look inside the box because I think what's in the box is the key to the whole organizational system. So in this box, I have everything I could possibly need at any given moment. I have all of, I have my extra cameras, lenses, all of my lenses, batteries, gimbals, Polaroids, camera straps, different badges from different events, monitors, headphones to check audio that I'm really bad at doing. We got battery chargers, we got tools, we got, we got any tool you could need to rig a camera up. We have, we have locks so when I'm flying I just lock the box up and they can check it. I have all of the cords you could ever need for different hard drives and different computers because Apple's crazy and they like to have different com different ports on all the different computers. It's super convenient. <laughs> then we have in here all the stuff to clean my cameras. So when I get back and I put everything back in the box, I can go through and clean it all. I have different lens cloths and blower things because you always need this stupid thingy to blow dust off your sensor because, you know, I make a mess of everything. But this is the main part of the camera bag, camera box I call it. I call it my camera box. So this is the main part of the box that keeps it all organized. And it's this f-stop medium slope camera insert. And here's here's the trick. My main big hiking backpack I use is an f-stop bag. It's one of the it's one I don't I don't know what it's called. It starts with an A. It's the, it's not the huge one, it's like the medium one. Anyways, it's an F-stop bag. That's my main hiking adventure camera backpack. And the main things I bring with me when I'm going hiking or like on a day hike or something is my lenses, cameras, batteries. And all of that stuff is always in this cube. So that means all I have to do is lift this cube out, put it in the backpack, and I'm good to go. And then I get back, put it all back, and I can charge and clean everything, and that's it. So now let's say I'm at I'm at an event all the way across the country, and I'm running around taking photos. Well, what I would have done before I check the Go Box is take this little tiny camera bag that holds just like four lenses and maybe an iPad, and I jam it in here. A, when I put this in here a little more organ organized, I squeeze this down, and then that helps keep everything snug. And then I feel a little more comfortable checking the box because if anyone's ever checked camera gear, they have a slight, the closest moment they'll ever have to a heart attack before they open the box to make sure their camera gear is still okay because, you know, camera gear is not cheap and it's not fun to risk it being mal thrown around because TSA is so nice to our bags. So that is how I keep all of my camera gear pretty much organized and safe. Yes. It is inconvenient, and yes, that box is very heavy to lug around sometimes. But you know, for me, doing a lot of traveling, and just, it, it's easier. It's easier, and it's the peace of mind of knowing that my camera gear is safe in that box. Because I could be driving somewhere, and get in a horrible car accident, 
and my camera gear could tumble down the highway and that box will just be scuffed up. It's not gonna be, my camera gear isn't going to be completely crushed. I don't think, I don't, I hope not. I feel much better knowing it's in that box. So that's why one of the main reasons it, reasons it is worth it to me. And when, you know, I do check my camera gear, I've never had an issue. That box is structurally sound, it's waterproof and it's safe. So, you know, it, this, this whole little system I made has changed my life on being organized with all my camera gear. And I know I'm kind of a gearhead and I like to bring it all. And it's not necessarily about bringing all of your gear. It's about when you have to bring a lot of it. So hope this was helpful to you guys. Be sure to let me know what you think and be sure to subscribe because I'm, I'm using this time of quarantine to get out and try to make more videos. So thank you for watching. And oh, by the way, look at this. I made a hat with my logo on it. How sick is that? So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Catch you guys in the next one.